Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're joining me for the first time. This is Saturday Night Crafting! Oh my word, it's been the longest week of home learning ever. <laughs> I'm so excited to be with you guys. Tonight we're doing watercolor resist using um, watercolors <laughs> while well, using gouaches from Arteza. And there is a giveaway in the middle of the video, so stay tuned. Getting started on my video, I'm going to jump right in. I'm using designer paper. So this is a great way to use up designer paper and give it a new life and do something different with it. I've got this paper pad, which I picked up from the works ages ago now. Um, the range still carries it. I noticed it's still around everywhere. I just wanted to use up my designer paper. I've got so much of it. I want to make the most of it and I want to make it, you know, a different design with it. So I've gone ahead and cut them up into front card panels. I've got this holographic cardstock, which I picked up from Amazon, and I'll link all this down below if I can, if I can find links for everything. And I cut the holographic paper to the same size as my card base. And I've got my one of my favorite stamp sets here from Jane Jill. Um, I'll link this stamp set down below. It's just a set of two or three flowers with some leaves. And all I'm doing to get started is lining up in my stamp positioner and I'm going to use this wow embossing powder. Now it is called pearl, um, purple pearl or something along those lines. So it looks white when I put it on, but it turns a purpley hue. Now I lost my Versamark ink pad, so I'm using my Hero Arts um, white pigment ink. It does not work as well as my Versamark, but I couldn't find it anywhere. You'll see later in the video I found it. And here's my typical Sasha move. I forget to use the embossing buddy. I put it inside my embossing tray for that specific reason and I still forget it. Here's the magic with the wow embossing powder. It's turning from white to this kind of purple pearl color. It's so cool. Look at that shine. Um, really neat effect. So I thought I would do that on one of the cards and I'm taking my embossing tray and just emptying that embossing powder back in. Now I'm going ahead and doing a second one because I wanted to use my white embossing powder this time. This is my white embossing powder from Alina Crafts on AliExpress. Um, she is a lovely woman who does a lot of her own original designs. Well, everything's her own original design. And she's got this lovely embossing powder. It's a really nice, um, fine embossing powder. So here are my gouaches. Now the gouache comes in a tube, as you've seen in the picture at the beginning, but you unload it or load it into <laughs> one of these um, trays into the little kind of squares and you let it dry. Now I did find with the metallic gouaches, it's not actually drying that much. They're still staying a bit tacky, but it works the same. So you kind of stick it in, let it dry a bit, add a bit of water to reactivate it, and then use it like a watercolor. So this set of 36 watercolors that I got from Arteza is absolutely brilliant. It comes with nearly 36 new colors. I think there was about four in the overlap between the metallics, the original 12 metallics, and this new set of 36. So really exciting. And make sure you're watching because there is a giveaway from Arteza. Um, but I love these new gouaches and they are so much fun to play with. So I've got my gouaches activated with my water and I'm coming in and I'm painting my image. And the embossing powder is fantastic. If you've never done this before, it's a great trick. The embossing powder, when it's melted, acts as a resist. So I'm putting down the paint, but I'm not being careful at all. I'm just kind of slapping it down in the middle of all my images. And that embossing powder is resisting my paint. So you can see the lines and the details of the stamp starting to come through underneath my paint. It's a fantastic, quick and easy way to add some color and character to your um, card top um, or card base, whatever you're working on, your designer paper, without having to worry about making a mess and trying to stay within all those little detailed lines. So you can see here, I am literally just piling on that paint, the gouache, and the lines are popping back through the um, embossing powder. Sorry, I'm totally not making sense here. I hope it's making sense by watching the video. So this is metallic gouache. So it has got a really nice shine to it. It covers up the background paper really, really nicely. So you can see it looks like I've got this beautiful image and you wouldn't be able to really notice how much pattern was under them. And I just love the effect because it kind of pops off the page a bit. So I'm just having some fun. You can see the shine from the metallic gouache. Yes, it's a little bit wet, but that shine stays. It is gorgeous. 
So I've gone ahead and done that first panel and I love how it looks. So here's our fun bit. We've got a giveaway. Arteza messaged me and said, please can we do a giveaway for your subscribers? So I'm so excited and I apologize massively. It is only for the UK and the US because Arteza will send it out themselves. So I'm so sorry to the rest of the world, but Arteza wants to give, do a giveaway for everyone and you will get the full set of 36 brand new metallic gouaches from them. They will post it to you themselves. So the only rules and the only stipulations are they would love it if you would go and follow their YouTube channel and also like their most recent video. The only thing I need from you is to know which country you're from so I can make sure that you're qualified to be in the draw and that I can then work out who the winner is going to be. It will be completely random winners, um, or one winner, sorry, that I will draw, and I will do so on the 13th of February by 11 p.m. UK time. So make sure you're watching my channel on Sunday the 14th. That will be the day when I draw the name and announce it on my channel. So make sure you're watching. I will have the instructions as to what you need to do to get in touch with me, um, to give me your address so I can pass that detail on to Arteza itself. So if you are in the UK or the USA, please do make sure you enter in this giveaway. It's fantastic. So thank you to Arteza for doing that with us. That is so much fun. Right, I'm going to move on to the next card now. I wanted to use this stamp set here. I love the detail in it, and I thought this would be perfect for doing our watercoloring with. Now you can see I found my Versamark ink pad as well. Um, I forgot I had a second one on my shelf. So I got that out, and I love my Versamark ink pad when I'm going to do some embossing. This time I remembered the embossing buddy. It's just a little bag that's filled with um, basically like talcum powder, and it just removes any kind of stick on your paper so that the embossing powder only sticks to that embossing ink. So here you can see our nice little image. You can see it light up a bit more when we go and melt all the embossing powder. This again is Alina's embossing powder. I've used her white embossing powder and her clear embossing powder in this video. I don't actually show you using the clear one, but you'll see the sample that I did with black ink and the clear embossing powder. So here I'm going ahead and I'm adding um, the flowers in and I'm kind of trying to follow the picture that was on the box for the stamp. And I'm coming back in with a darker pink and adding a bit of shading in. Now I'm rubbish because I'm not an artist, so I kind of do the best that I can, but <laughs> I think it looks all right in the end, but I just wanted to add a bit more tone and color to it. So here's the finished one. You can see that metallic shine. It's gorgeous. And I love that that sorry is there. I wanted to make the sorry pop out a little bit more. So I've got these um, super duper glittery pens from Arteza. They're amazing. They're my new best friend. They have so much glitter in them and I am absolutely in love. I thought this pen was brown because it looks really brown when you look at it, but it's actually like a black. So this was great. So all I'm doing is following the outline of my image and wherever the flower goes over top of the image, I don't trace. And wherever the image is over top of that, I traced with my black glitter pen. It's really hard to see the glitter. It looks like I've just used a normal pen, but I scribbled on some scrap bit of paper so you can see that glitter and shine. Look how sparkly it is. It's not just metallic, it's sparkly. It is the coolest stuff ever. I will link these pens down below. I've had so many people telling me that they've been buying them. Um, they are just so much fun. Right, so I've got my three card bases here. I've got the one that I share, did off a of screen and the two I did on screen. I've got some pink foil card there and I've got the holographic card for the other ones. Now, I wanted to use my Hello die, which is from Alina Craft Store on AliExpress. I love these dies because they come with a shadow outline as well. And I thought I wanted to kind of coordinate my card. So I've got this Hello die set or stamp set as well. And I've got the words that came with my flower stamp that we used in the original one that I'm going to die cut or well, I'm going to emboss, stamp and emboss and use on these cards. So I wanted to make sure that my card coordinated. So I went ahead and used the inside of my card panel to die cut my shadow for my die. So you're not going to see this bit, so it's great to make use of that center. So I went ahead and die cut that out. You could also use a rectangular die or your paper trimmer and cut the center out. But this is my finished card. 
I added some gems. To make the gems coordinate, I used my Arteza alcohol markers and just colored them in. Any alcohol marker will do. If you've got Sharpies um, or something else, um, then go ahead and use that. Anything alcohol will work because it's a permanent marker. So use what you've got in your stash. I just went ahead and colored in some gems because I wanted my gems to match and I couldn't find my colored gems. Um, so I did that there. I added on my strip and made a little kind of bunting at the end of it and the holographic paper just ties in really nicely. The hello die is also stacked three times. On this one I went ahead and used my Nouveau glitter drops just to add a bit of character and dimension to the card. I also wanted to add a bit more sparkle to the centers of flowers and it's so hard to see on camera but I did come in with my Arteza glitter pens again and use the yellow and I went through those little circles on the inside of those flowers. It's so hard to capture. Um, but I added that glitter on there. And then I also used some glitter pen underneath that hello with my glossy accents over top. So I've got a great video as well if you want to see um, how to make your own glitter pens. I'll link that down below. Here's the sorry card. I went and used my Nouveau drops on this as well. I've got these black chalkboard effect Nouveau drops. And so when they dry, they're still a bit wet here in this picture, but when they dry, they kind of go a matte finish. So it's not shiny at all, which is quite cool. And that's how I finished off that card. I'm so grateful you joined me today. Don't forget to enter my giveaway at the bottom um, in the comments section below if you are in the US or the UK. And I hope to see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy crafting. Bye.